we are going to have uh, almost one hour to talk about a fabulous device, what I have in my clinic since more than two years now. And uh, I want to share with you my experience. It's the Ultraforma 3, what is a HIFU device, and it is used for skin tightening and fat reduction. Um, may I introduce myself? My name is Bettina Rümmeleim. I'm a dermatologist located in Zurich. Um, I'm originally from Hamburg and I did my residency and my specialty uh, in Hamburg. And then for 10 years, I run my own clinic in the area of Frankfurt. Since 2006, I'm in Switzerland and for eight years, I was a head consultant for the Department of Laser Medicine at the University Hospital of Zurich. Since 2016, we run a private um, laser school um, state um, accredited. We do trainings for, um, for medical specialists in the house of skin and laser medicine um, for all kinds of laser trainings, um, what you need to um, be accredited for to perform laser treatments in Switzerland. So the Ultraforma 3 um, is a very special device and uh, I'm very happy that we acquired it in the clinic. It is used a lot every day, uh, but I want to share with you how do I decide for a new device, what is always also a financial decision. So I check for these six points, what I find very important. Number one is the trust in the manufacturing company. Number two is the high quality service partner nearby. Number three, the proven technique. Number four, the treatment has to be enjoyable for the patient and for the nurse and the doctor. Then the actual market situation in your area and the legal situation. So I want to point out point by point now. So number one, the trust in the manufacturing company. It is very crucial because when you buy a device of a company that later on gives up or they do not deliver um, equipment, something breaks with the machine or maybe the, the parameters are wrong, you can have a, a very severe problem. And it might end up that you have to throw uh, your device to the trash or even worse, you, um, you harm your patients and you can end up with difficult problems. So before I start to check the device, I check the company, the background of the company. So the company classes, um, I met them first uh, on this Congress in St. Petersburg in 2017, um, where I heard uh, various talks of uh, very renowned colleagues of mine. So in this case, uh, it was uh, Dr. Klaus Fritz from Germany, and he was presenting about the Ultraforma. And so this built up trust. And I asked him, what do you think about the company? And he said, hey, come and meet them. And this is us uh, in June. 2017, um, enjoying the white nights of St. Petersburg and having deep discussions about the understanding of, um, of producing manufacturing devices and about the responsibility a company takes uh, on one hand side for the patients, on the other hand side for their customers, what are we, the doctors. So then I did a lot of background uh, check. The company was founded in 2007 and it's present in 55 countries, including Europe, Australia, Brazil, Singapore, Middle East and Russia. And you find them everywhere. Wherever you travel to congresses, you see um, classes is present and they have very good speakers and they organize very nice symposia. So on... Um, AMWC in 2019, I met classes at their booth, what I also find uh, very stylish and nice, the devices and how they present them. They have not uh, uncountable devices, but they uh, work to improve the single device so they become better and better. Um, each time when I come, I see something improved, something 
uh, more elegant, something more practical. And uh, they had uh, inside symposia at this time also. And again, I met very renowned colleagues and had a deep discussion about the cooperation with the company and about their personal experience with the devices. That's me being there with my colleague. So number two, the high quality service partner nearby, what is also very important because when you have a problem, you need your service partner to be to come and to help you out in the moment. So something with the wires, you need supply, you need uh, new uh, applicators, and these needs to be delivered to your place um, as soon as possible, because a lot of times these problems show up um, and it's very urgent. So you need to call them and they need to come. And in this case, it's for me, it's laser made here in Switzerland. And I have to say, I'm very happy with the cooperation. Um, check out, this is in this case, it's a certified um, company distributor and service partner in Switzerland. So then, for sure, the technique. How does this device work? So Ultraforma is a high food device and um, we have to compare, you, you ask yourself, is it reasonable to have another device in the clinic? Because in my clinic, for instance, we have 35 devices. So we have a whole bunch of devices to, to run. And I think more than 10 times before I decide if I'm going to acquire a new device, because it has to give me um, information or it has to give me uh, a, a modality to treat skin, to treat my patients that is differing from all the other devices. So compared with radio frequency and with lasers, let us um, focus on the comparison with, uh, with lasers. Ultraforma is applied directly in the depth without harming at all the surface of the skin. And this is a very big benefit for the customer. So you see that you don't see anything. So patients um, ask me, how long is the downtime of this treatment? What I want to do? I want to improve the elasticity of my skin. I want to do something uh, to look nicer, to look better. Then um, they ask me, what is it with a Frexel treatment? How long do I have to take off from work until I can go back? How long is my social downtime? So with lasers, depending on how uh, strong you dose it, the absolute minimum would be two and a half to three days, but it can be seven days, it can be even uh, 10 days. With Ultraforma, the downtime is zero. So absolutely no downtime. There might be a little bit of redness, there can be a little bit of swelling. So, but this is a super benefit of the device. And number two is the depth. You see in uh, with the Ultraforma 3, we treat in levels. So with the real, I call them the real HIFU um, hand pieces, it's the 1.5, the 3 and the 4.5 millimeter for the face. You treat in the dermis, you treat in the deep dermis and you treat directly on the SMAS. So treating um, sagging, you need a deep treatment. And um, when you want to treat so deep with a fractionated laser, there will be a long, long downtime. So the application of the energy of the HIFU is um, with this converter, what is in the handpiece, and you you burn put kind of burning points this high intensity combusting area as uh, the focus point in the depth and the handpiece defines where you put this focus point so it can be as you see here 1.5 2 3 or 4.5 millimeters that are the handpieces all handpieces you use in the face Um, the handpieces uh, mentioned above are the micro-focused handpieces with high energy, so the so-called real HIFU handpieces, while the new 
the two millimeter depth handpiece is an intermediate between micro and macro focused. It's an eight times bigger spot with a low density of energy and diffuse heating. The other hand pieces, six, nine and 13 millimeters depth are also macro focused, eight times bigger spot again, with high density of energy and they lead to a thermal destruction of tissue. It's only suitable for fat tissue due to the less pain sensitivity in fat tissue. So you can use the six millimeter, for instance, also for the double chin while the nine and 13 millimeters are real, uh, really only body uh, hand pieces. So um, again, the, um, the here you, um, we visualize the, the difference between the macro focus and the micro focused hand piece. So um, the macro fo focus hand piece is eight times bigger then the usually in the face uh, use applicators, so-called face cartridges. And um, with the HIFO, we produce 65 to 75 centigrade degree heat co coagulation points without damaging the skin surface. And this is the big benefit compared to lasers, IPL, radio frequency, and RF needling. So no downtime, no skin damaged, and the focus energy is only applied to the target area. Um, so summed up, the most important thing is the, the downtime point, what is important for the customer. So there can also be um, spontaneous decisions for this treatment without big uh, arrangements for the for the uh, private um, time that you have to take uh, to arrange for seeing people that nobody is, should see your treatment. Then the depth of the penetration, the treatment of the SMAS, what is super important for treating sacking. Without the deep penetrations, sacking treatment is not possible, and then another super benefit is the color blindness. So it is suitable for all skin types and all year long. So around possible side effects um, with incorrect application. So when you have no skin contact, for sure, the burn point can hit the surface. So you have to concentrate what you're doing and be aware that the handpiece with um, with gel is in good contact with the skin. Otherwise, you will have burns and there are scars on the surface possible, but this is only if you misuse, uh, mishandle the handpiece. Um, the penetration chosen to deep can cause mucosa damage. So you can shoot through the skin into the mucosa and you can even damage teeth and you can damage nerves. So you have to understand about anatomy. Facial nerves are mostly in nine millimeter depth, but when you press a handpiece very strong onto the skin, then you will definitely reach the nerves. So you have to understand where are the nerves. You should have a feedback of the patient, so the patient should not be in full anesthesia. So the patient should be able to say, ooh, this hurts. Um, so you can move the handpiece to the side out of the pain area. Um, if you shoot on a nerve again and again, you can severely damage a nerve. But if the patient gives feedback, ouch, you can easily adjust the position of the handpiece. So regarding results, um, it is important that you understand you are not treating the nasolabial fault, you are treating the full cheek because the full cheek is giving the traction on the nasolabial fault. So treating nasolabial fault means to treat the whole cheek. And treating double chin again also means that you treat the double chin in different layers. You have to reduce the amount of fat in the depth, but also you have to tighten the skin both. 
and you should always include when you treat the double chin i recommend highly to treat the the neck in addition so this is possible to have results like this unfortunately not a lot of patients allow to show their photos um, you have to make a treatment plan with the patient the pa patient is showing up you take the photos you explain where you treat for aiming what and then um, what we usually do is we recommend the patient um, two to three treatments and we do like the first two treatments in a gap of um, two months roundabout and then a third treatment like six months later when you already see that something is going on and skin is improving and laxity is improving then the patient is highly motivated to invest in a third treatment uh, we can use that instead or in combination with, with botox treatments of, of the forehead because um, a lot of patients ask oh do i have to continue doing my botulinum toxin uh, injections now for the end of my life every four months because it lasts so short or is there anything else i can do to have a longer lasting effect and then ultraforma is a very good idea but you have to be aware and on, on the forehead the skin is thinner so you cannot position 4.5 3 and 1.5 millimeter it's only the 2 and the 1.5 millimeter handpiece to be used in this area but you do not have to keep that in mind at the moment because um, classes delivers a very detailed brochure where it's written exactly which program you have to use for what you are aiming for and which area and where you have to be uh, careful and um, be attentive to not damage uh, anything so again nasolabial wrinkles this is again a full cheek treatment and not a treatment on the nasolabial folds in the in the mouth area um, I think this is a, a bit too positive uh, photo, but I have to say we reach these results, but not with one treatment. For reaching this, we need about um, three treatments because this is an uh, already older lady with a lot of small wrinkles on the upper lips. And uh, it can be that finally we also add some um, some um, hyaluronic acid of a very a light density and this gives the supernatural result so the skin is not filled up and blown up but you see it is really nicely tightened and very well hydrated uh, a very good indication is also the neck area where you can have these nice improvals and then maybe follow it up with one injection treatment at the end to even um, make have an even better result again double chin a super beloved uh, treatment in between there can be some swelling so you see after the treatment um, the skin is red is swollen and the patient might not be so happy for some days but then um, the collagen remodeling is starting and you see the nice traction on the cheek improving the nasolabial fold and a lot of improval on the neck area here uh, a case of a skin rejuvenation look on the cheek a patient that has contraindication for fillers and just wanted to improve the quality of skin So now the, this point you might find a bit funny because when I say it's important that the treatment is enjoyable for the patient and for the nurse and the doctor, I really mean this because when you run a clinic like me with 35 devices, I'm not using them all myself. I need my staff to do the treatments and the staff will prefer to do the treatments that they really enjoy so um, if a device is very heavy if it is a very boring treatment or if um, it is a, is a very um, uh, exhausting treatment 
that can be that your staff will try to avoid performing this treatment. This is a natural behavior of, of, uh, of mankind. So with the ultra former, you have an elegant, slim and easy to move device. So even if the room that you decided to be the ultra former room is busy, you can easily just take it out and move it to another room. This is what we do quite frequently. If uh, customers show up and say, hey, today I have time, can I do um, the ultra former treatment? My second one, I enjoyed already the first, I would like us to do a second and it was not planned in the program. Somebody has time, but the room is not available. So easy to move and it's an elegant um, device that even finds attraction people look at it and say, hey, what is this? You have a new device, looks very, very elegant. What, what is it doing? What can it do? So then the hand pieces. You know, some laser devices have hand pieces. They are so difficult to store. You need a, a new um, a cupboard to place them. You have to invest in furniture to find space for these hand pieces. Here you see the hand piece is you, you press these two buttons, you see the gray button there in the middle, you press it and just take it off one click, so easy, and you can store all the hand pieces directly in the device, what has, maybe I go one back, you see there is this, um, this, this part here, yes, this, you can open this, and behind there is storage place for the hand pieces, for all hand pieces you need. So when we say this, this treatment is not painful, I would say this is a company uh, slide and I want to say that this is not really true. It's not not painful, but it is not so painful that you have to do nerve black blocks or that you have to do sedation. Numbing cream does not make sense because as you treat under the skin, uh, the numbing cream is not helping a lot. So what we do is we have just uh, um, uh, a fan give, blowing some cool air in the face of the patient. And we give the patient a little bit of paint drops like metamizole um, 10 minutes before the treatment. So the patient is relaxed enough to perform the treatment without any additional um, pain treatment. Um, Depending on the severity of the aging process, you speak to your patient and decide with what treatments you want to combine the treatment. So if you have a patient with a severe aging symptoms, you need to do more than just the ultraformer. But the ultraformer is a good basis because patients are nowadays very aware of um, the of the of the ugly um, situation when the face is too much blown up with fillers. So they like to support their natural anti-aging process with the ultra former and then we finish up with some injectables. The injectables can be either to hydrate the surface of the skin. So we would um, use um, very light uh, fillers and like a mesal therapy or uh, we can restore fat departments by doing deep injections um, on beauty points or empty coats uh, like treatments. So when you assess the patient, you check the medical history, you check the main concern of the patient, you take good photos and on the photos you tell the patient where you think where the treatment should be focused on. Um, you speak about volume loss, you speak about skin laxity and you basically explain sagging and the big benefit of the ultraforma to, deep, to um, perform a deep treatment down to this mass. Um, here you see the hand pieces. Um, these are the real Haifu hand pieces. And then you uh, see in this table what you do not have to, uh, to take photos of because everything comes in the handbook. But you see you need a lot of shots and therefore 
um, you have to calculate the shots and the price because these hand pieces are disposables. They use themselves up. And depending on the, um, on the hand piece, it is, can differ between 20,000 and 30,000 shots per hand piece. So depending on the, on the thickness of the skin and also the underlying uh, structures, you see what I pointed out already before, the upper part of the face can only be treated with the 1.5 and 2 millimeter handpiece, while the lower half of the face can be treated with 4.5, 3, 2 and 1.5 millimeter handpiece. And um, I do not want to go too much in detail here, but the red uh, marked areas are um, areas of um, to be avoided and to be very attentive there. Um, as we know that there can be some variations in the nerve situation, the, the feedback of the patient, as I told you, when the patient says, oops, this hurts, uh, different than it hurt before, you should just slide with the handpiece from this area, lateral or medial, depending on where you are, to avoid uh, a, re a repetitive um, injury of a nerve uh, in, in order not to, um, to destroy the nerve. Um, and so I find myself very safe with this treatment and I feel very comfortable performing the treatment. Ultraforma can be combined with all kinds of treatments you have in your clinic. But for me, Ultraforma is always the basis. The only thing where I might uh, start different, it can be botulinum toxin, because I like to inject botulinum toxin first, uh, like um, to flatten uh, and uh, soften the mus muscle action, and then have Ultraforma afterwards but not directly afterwards. So if you inject vitolinum toxin in the first um, appointment, then you would wait some days and have ultraforma afterwards. With all the other treatments, um, with fillers, it has to be the filler definitely after you finished the ultraforma setup. So I would do one ultraforma, then the second ultraforma, after one, two, three months, and then finish up with the filler and uh, not touch this area before at least six months. And with radiofrequency laser and lasers, you can even combine that in the same um, session uh, when you want to treat additionally also the surface. Maybe you want to remove some age spots or you want to, um, to um, improve some uh, broken vessels, so no problems. Um, when we do the treatment, this would be the situation. You cover the closest of the patient with a towel because you use a lot of gel and then you do not want to mess up the wardrobe. You have your plan, your treatment plan right next to you and follow the instruction. And uh, for uh, just to mention this maybe back, uh, for treating a full face, we uh, plan in our clinic one hour uh, to have a relaxed situation and not push the patient through the treatment. So regarding market, face treatments, no doubt about, are very requested and so are body treatments. So I would say like, Four or five years ago, I had really problems to sell body treatments. Meanwhile, patients are very aware of their look and they, they ask us, um, what can I do? My, my skin of the inner upper arms gets a bit um, wrinkly. It is not so well hydrated anymore. It, um, I do not like to to wear short sleeves anymore. Can we do something? Even the inner thighs are very requested. And um, the global growth market, um, we think that this will in, be increased by at least 15% per year. And I can agree in Switzerland and my clinic, it is definitely like this, maybe even higher. 
why is body shaping uh, topical? So for sure, for to have a good figure, you need to go for sports and you have to have a good diet. But still, in menopause in particular, the the skin quality is decreasing, and with sports alone, you cannot improve the quality of skin and the firmness of the skin uh, of the inside of the thighs, for instance, or on the upper arm. So we need additional um, treatments topically performed. It is not a slimming machine, but we can destroy um, fat areas with the, uh, with the deep hand pieces, 6, 9 and 13 millimeters. Um, even though there are more and more plus size models, I can only say most people like to good uh, like to have an um, a good um, silhouette. And when they have problem zones, they ask us, "Can you help us with problem zones?" So, do not tell them that they will lose any weight with this device. They are not going to lose any weight. If you um, can melt like the size of a piece of um, a jar of butter, that would be 250 grams of fat. But this is not influencing your, your weight. When you have 250 grams less weight, this is nothing. But when you have the size of a peck of butter less on your, on your hips, that makes a big difference. So the discontent with uh, the, the own body leads people to take stressful diets and hard training sessions in order to get rid of persistent body fat. And uh, the blogs and magazines announce miracle cures to uh, reach their, uh, their aims, their goals very fast and easily. But uh, the long lasting results can only be achieved when the patient is being supported on his way and the nutrition plan is adjusted in process. So what we recommend is uh, that you have somebody in the clinic who is giving good advice to the patients to stay on a proper long lasting diet. The previous uh, gold standard to remove um, extra fat is the liposuction. But I have to say, maybe I, I have bad luck, but I see, unfortunately, a lot of patients who are very sad about the results of their liposuction, even here in Switzerland. Um, it's an invasive treatment. It's a painful treatment. It has downtime. It can cause bruises and swelling. And we are consulted a lot because of scars and a lot because of um, deformities, bumps and dents after the treatment. And this is usually not right after the treatment. It is most of the time showing up um, after one to two years after the procedure. These early side effects like this, um, I don't know if you have seen this. Unfortunately, I have seen a lot of cases like this. Um, too superficial liposuction and um, by this laser liposuction with um, severe damage of the dermis and a lot of scarring. This was how the patient was um, two weeks after the intervention. And situations like this, you can imagine these patients do not want to go for another liposuction because the liposuction made this um, uneven effects with this uh, enormous side effects, um, side differences. So they ask us, isn't there anything that I can do only topically to uh, remove these problem zones now? And this is a super indication for ultraformer. Also, the um, inside of the arm um, here on the left hand side, you see a case after arm lifting and liposuction with these unwanted dimpling. And on the right hand side, for a long, long uh, treat after long, long treatment with a shockwave and radio frequency, we managed to even up some of the, the dimples. And now the patient can live with this situation. But um, this would have been a perfect indication for ultraformer first hand side. 
And this is what I'm talking about. This is uh, cellulite after liposuction. The patient demonstrated, demonstrated me photos of before the liposuction with, uh, with almost no cellulite and then two years after liposuction developing more and more um, cellulite. So the trend today is less liposuction, more non-invasive treatments, and it is also the combination of different treatments. They are safe, they have less side effects, they have no dull time and volume reduction and skin tightening and optimization of the silhouette is possible. Um, regarding the options what we have, so fat does not like heat. Heat is applied by HIFU. It is also applied by laser lipolysis. So we can use the Ultraformer body hand pieces. You can also use the sizer by Classis or the sculpture. Then cold fat cells can be destroyed by cold. So cryolipolysis. That would be, for instance, the CLATU, what we also use a lot from the company Classis again. Radio frequency, for instance, like VeloShape 3. Shock waves, for instance, like uh, AWT by Storz. Then there are mixed treatments. We have, uh, we, we give the patients food supplements. There's injection lipolysis. And um, this is also a minimal invasive treatment. And this table, um, you see the, the big variety of devices now on the market uh, offering non-invasive body forming treatments. And that shows you that there is a high demand on the side of the customer. Now regarding legal situation, I can only speak for Switzerland. But in Switzerland, uh, the treatments can not be done by non-doctors. So the, the treatment ultra um, former, um, so HIFU, is exclusively for doctor's offices. And it can be delegated to um, instructors, uh, instructed uh, personnel in the clinic. But you have to be, as a doctor, you have to be in the clinic and you have to, um, to supervise your staff who is performing the treatment. And you should be very uh, delicate, um, delicate to, to choose the right person to perform this treatment. And it should be a person who knows very well about anatomy. And um, so in my clinic, it is only me and two other doctors and one um, nurse who is performing ultraformer and the deep applicators are only performed by the doctors. You should not um, do perform or it's prohibited in Switzerland to perform treatment um, in, for instance, in rent premises in a doctor's practice. Um, it is not allowed. You have to be the, the owner of the clinic or you have to be announced at least um, it's, it has to be your your clinic where you perform these treatments. It's not in uh, that you cannot do this in an esthetician's place. So we we perform a lot of uh, courses here. So if you are uh, interested and you are in Switzerland, you can uh, we would highly um like to see you in one of the next classes of the Smart Aging Swiss Academy. You can see all these classes uh, on the web page of the Smart Aging Swiss Academy. And some of them are uh, in English. And the internships, we have always a group in English. So, and then finally, I like to invite you for the uh, SGML 21, what is the Congress in Switzerland, the, the one and only laser and procedure Congress in Zurich. And please save the date. It's the 21st of January uh, 2021. So thank you very much for your attention. And I hope I could fascinate you and maybe you are interested 
to start with ultra format treatments in your clinic too but um, please be aware that you have to go for a training session to be really uh, aware of how to handle the device um, with a practical training with uh, either LaserMate company or even with the staff of uh, Smart Aging Swiss Academy. Thank you very much for your attention.